Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Um, you have been subjected to a little bit of repetitive issues or series. But then the Bible also says to repeat a matter is not excellent. And sometimes when something is repeated, it becomes uh, much more, uh, it brings emphasis and it makes the lesson sink. That's why sometimes we revise our notes. So take it as a period of revision. Right. This morning, I would like to uh, capture my thoughts with the words deep end blues. I'm always fascinated by um, what goes on in the scriptures. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Do you remember in, in the book of Exodus when Moses was taking the people out of um, Egypt to the promised land? See the kind of directions that um, Moses took them. There were many other routes that they could have taken, or some of the routes or routes that they could have taken to the promised land. But then God led them directly to the Red Sea. The Red Sea. And here there was a very perplexing situation. In front of them was the Red Sea, and behind them were the Egyptians, who all of a sudden realized that, boy, we made a mistake by making these people go away scot free. We need to really chase them. And especially, with the Egyptian woman whose gold and silver had been robbed. Oh yes, I, I thought it was robbery. Why? Because the Israelites were asked to borrow. And when you borrow something, you, you send it back. But then when something is lent to you, what you do is that you, you return it. But then when it was given to them, then God said to them, get up and run. <laughs> but anyway, in another context, God was paying them back for all the work of 400 years they've done that they didn't receive pay because they were slaves. Anyway, here's the interesting thing. The Egyptians were behind them and the Red Sea was before them. So it was the turning between the Skylar and the Chaddis. I mean, the devil and the deep blue sea. That's, that's what it, it was, really. And now the people of Israel began to pray and they were crying out to Moses and they were saying to Moses, man, you know, you brought us here to kill us and all those things. And then interestingly, Moses also lifted up prayer. And when Moses raised up the prayer, Moses was praying and, uh, you know, it was like, oh God, you know, and then God said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What have you got in your hands? Can I tell you something? When they got to the Red Sea, because of what they were seeing, it raised the anxiety level. It raised the anxiety level. And one way or the other, they, they, they transferred that, the, that anxiety of theirs, they transferred it to Moses. So that split period, it was the people were anxious, the people were afraid, and Moses also bit into the loaf of anxiety that was peddled by the people. And he also went crying out to God, and God said, no. You know, one of the things that I've realized is this. Anxiety is very, very infectious. And sometimes some people can pass on their anxiety to you. And if you're not very careful, they'll drag you into their boat of anxiety. But we need to realize that if you want to carry the bread of anxiety, if you want to eat the bread of anxiety, you don't have to force me to read, to also eat the bread of anxiety. I don't need to feast at that table. And it is very, very important. Don't allow other people to force you to eat at their table of anxiety. And one of the things, why am I saying this? Anxiety is, is concerning the things of life, a statement of lack of trust in God. Because God said clearly in his word, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. So anxiety, but he said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious. Anxiety doesn't help your cause. Anxiety doesn't work out for you. But he calls you, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, and he added the word thanksgiving. What is thanksgiving? Thanksgiving means I thank you for answered prayer. I thank you for answered requests. Let your request be made known for 
to God. Here's the principle. Deep and blues, anxiety, I trust you make. See you later.